Delicious celebrity gossip. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and throw delightful Hollywood shade. Yeah, buddy. Today we're sipping tea and our lovely Magnus Hastings for Hunty's mugs. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jackie Beat. I am not being paid for this appearance. Sorry, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of delightful stories in the teapot, including Orlando Bloom's thick beer can cock. That's not really the story, but isn't that the only thing we care about with them? Katie and Taylor's nasty feud explodes. And Sharon Needles is coming for Katy Perry's album art. Mmm, delicious. This tea is <laughs> I'm not alone here, of course. I have some of my most favorite hilarious people to help me throw the shade and spill the tea. To my left, it's He-Man's sister. <laughs> She's been protecting us all from, yeah, from I was going to say Sergeant Grayskull, from uh, Eveline and all the rest of those He-Man villainesses. It's not She-Ra, it's Mr. Julita Golmita. <laughs> Oh my god, he meant this man. <laughs> You're she man. Save the day. Yeah. She man. You, they, the action figure has the same body as he exactly man. Exactly the same. Oh, your face. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a dream growing up. I mean, I wish for that. I wish I mean, for it's it. It's kind of what you look like now, like a he man. Mm. If you look at your calves and yeah. he man's calves, uh -huh. they are one point. Great. My calves. <laughs> <laughs> your calves are so strong. When I am scared or worried, I want to hide behind your calves because they're so protective. You could. Just so let me, Julie, can I just snuggle into your calf? Your white, never tan calves? I mean, that's they're milky is what the word is, Julie. They are. Milky, muscular calves. <laughs> Thank you. MMC. Thank you. MMC. Hey, I've got my MMCs. MMCs. <laughs> MMC for life. MCM for your MMCs. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh, to her left is her co hostess. Co hostess. Um, <laughs> co hostess. She's the co hostess. Is uh, Julie's co hostess on their podcast, Dumb Gay Politics, available on iTunes. And it's her people's couch, Sissy Bestie. I know. We mentioned the forbidden name of the forbidden show. <laughs> it's Miss Brandy oh, Hour. Hi, sis. Hi. I was gonna say the difference between only difference between Julie's calves and He-Man's calves are were actually the color mm, you're of right. the action figure. <laughs> yeah, because He-Man was He's very man. tan. Very tan, honey. very swarthy with the blonde hair. And what was it? The to the power of Grey Skull. Uh -huh. By the, the power, power of Grey Skull. <laughs> and She-Ra did for the <laughs> honor of Grey Skull. Oh. oh. And Julie's like, Eternia. Dike it up, bitch. <laughs> She's like, Grey Skull is sexist. <laughs> Fuck you. Exactly. <laughs> Grey Skull is misogynist. <laughs> <laughs> the man gets the power and the woman has to right. honor. That's right. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I refuse right. to have the power because the power is misogynist. <laughs> you never acknowledge me. <laughs> right. Oh, God, I love He-Man. I love all the rest. I love the backstory of He-Man, which is that He-Man and Skeletor were dating. Skeletor started to do crystal meth, and his face really didn't work. His apartment turned into a hot mess, and when he lived, he started having snakes, and he had with really messy villainish friends, oh, and E-Man was like, girl, I'm out of here. I'm not smoking Tina with you anymore, because so He-Man did it for a while, but then he went to AA, he got out of it, and he realized he could just be a go-go boy and work at Grayskull and be a prince and wear like those tights mm -hmm. and a, you know, a boat neck collar. Oh, yeah. And the leatherette. And what the, about the cat? Know, well, oh yeah, well the cat. The gay cat. The What's cat. The, 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 the cat. Battle cat. Battle, Battle cat. cat from the Crystal Meth House. He yeah, took it. and then Battle Cat is also a very effeminate cat <laughs> when it's not on Crystal Meth. 
Right. Yeah. It's right. like snarf. Right. It and snarf say turns snarf. into the yeah. It goes snarf. Yeah. <laughs> and snarf. Snarf actually does steroids and turns into Battle Cat. Oh, I see. He man that, right. put the crystal meth down, picked up the steroids, <laughs> and that's the whole thing. Nah. Well, that was a tangent, but you know what? It was a good one. And now I'd like to introduce someone very important to the He Man universe. He Man's black sister, Lady Rickettsworth. <laughs> By the power. Of what? Gay Sco. Gay Sco. I like your, your fan there by Mimi Cherry. Isn't it wonderful? Because usually I'm always equipped with stunts, but then if you piss me off or give me something I don't want, I have to give you shade. Oh. Yes, honey. And the jewels today. I love when you rock like a rich girl out on the go. You know what I mean? Like, she's got a t-shirt from Latrice Royale. She's got her punky parrot that. shorty wig. I mean, and but she's this got is her me. jewels. This is me at home. I just, that is what yeah, you look like at home. Like, let's go to the grocery store. Fuck it. You let's go to I the mean? grocery store. But then I love the way I'll po post it on Instagram. Like, is this too much? And then the good girls will be like, never too much. And then those who get blocked are like, that's way too much. <laughs> well, another person who we love and who knows that there's never too much is never too never. much, honey. It's Miss <laughs> Erica Tor Avia. Yay! Yay! Oh, what honey. Are... How you doing? Look at yourself. <laughs> She's a Barbie just... girl. In a Barbie world. <laughs> She's so fantastic. <laughs> 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 Erica, the look goes as follows. What would you call this look? <sighs> Ribbon <laughs> fantasy. Wow. Oh. For the power of, wait, for the glory of Eternia. What is it? Oh, yeah, Eternia. Oh, yeah. Eternia. Oh, you know, you kind of are giving me a sorceress vibe. Remember yeah. the sorceress? Oh, yeah. oh, the sorceress. Yes. You're kind of, she was my she was favorite. She was very rainbow. Yes. And when the sorceress action figure came out, it was on. Yes, that's I didn't true. care. It didn't have combable hair, so I was allowed to have it, okay? <laughs> she had stiff hair, which yes. meant it was a masculine right. doll. Yes. But luckily, I have my own sorceress with combable hair now. Yeah. Erica, so. please stand up and give us a twirl, can you? Oh, my I goodness. can stand up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, can she? Up. Can she? Oh. And twirl! <laughs> Right, there you go, Erica. <laughs> Drive right through. So funny. All right, let's get this show started because this tea is hot. Mm. Oh. Oh, speaking of the teas, now, who's, what mugs do you have, Lady Red? I have my favorite. Alaska as Little Pound Cake. And you can also purchase that album with my fat ass on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's a straight up motherfucking dick pig. Yeah. La Erica, who do you have? Party. Adora Delano Yay! at McDonald's. Nice. <laughs> Julie, you have your number one fave Drag Race Season 9, yep, girl. Sasha Velour. Sasha Velour. <laughs> Would you let Sasha Velour eat your puss? Sure. sure. Yes, of course. Why, Why not? not? These <laughs> days, who cares? You know, what do we care? We're bi-curious. You're fluid, Julie. We're, I'm fluid. You're fully fluid. I have no gender, no, no <laughs> identity. I have nothing. <laughs> nothing. Zim, zem, zom. Um, <laughs> Brandy, yeah. yours? Who do I have? Katya. Oh, Katya. Oh, Katya. Katya. <laughs> Katya fans are coming for Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't tell because the, the I just couldn't tell by the beauty. But she does look gorgeous. Yeah, wow. and floating in a like in on like a raft. It's a pretty dope picture. Uh, yeah, well, get all of these at uh, Hunties.com. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Hunties. We love you and we love you, Mr. Magnus. Eight things, honey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, now on to important stuff. Orlando Bloom's big dick. <laughs> Woo! Uh, yay! <laughs> uh, movie pirate, sorry for plundering waitress booty. Once again, <laughs> what a great article title. So apparently, swashbuckling pirates of the Caribbean star Orlando Bloom caused a hotel waitress to get the boot <laughs> after she was caught naked in the star suite. But the Hollywood Hunt tracked down the hottie to say, sorry, you got sacked. How weird. I mean, did Maya Angelou from the grave write this prose? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> um, so apparently this hotel waitress, she was finishing up her shift. She was giving awesome blossoms out to everybody and whatever. 
And uh, <laughs> I love to say I, awesome I blossoms love awesome from Chili's. Blossoms too. I wish she was a waitress from Chili's, but she was really <laughs> then she'd be fucking Julie. Or but Apple she was a waitress <laughs> from somewhere fancy in London, London's Chilton Fire House. Anyway, uh, <laughs> she was finishing up her shift. She saw Orlando. She was like, I know that dick is good and big. And he's like, I like my dick is good and big. <laughs> so they went to her hotel. And he left. He was like, darling, do whatever you want. Stay in the bed, order room service, whatever. So she thinks she's t- luxuriating in the room, nude in the bed, it's like, you know, sniffing up all his dick juice or whatever. And then she was found in the room by the manager who had a monocle and was like, Miss McGillicotti, please, what are you doing in this room? And she was fired, honey. They fired. But she says she does not regret her job because it was a night of incredible sex with the notorious playboy who made gentlemanly gesture after calling her after he heard the news. What do you think a gentlemanly gesture is, Lady Red? Do you think he's like, hey, sorry, I you got fired, doll, but uh, I got 5,000 in an envelope for you at the front desk. No problem, because if you're Orlando that Bloom, be saying like sorry right. doesn't mean anything yeah. unless there's a cash value. Mm-hmm. Right, Lady Red? Yeah, I, uh, you know, he probably felt bad for her getting fired, but that's her fault, because she dumb as fuck. <laughs> like, you don't do, you know what I'm saying? It's an old saying, you don't shit where you eat. And for real, she did that. You know what I mean? You work there. You're going to see this motherfucker again. You know he's going to be back, you know, but she don't give a fuck. She was like, I just want the dick. Okay, well, I hope he really did give you an envelope, because otherwise your ass is just dumb as fuck without no job. No, she she can't even get his text. No. Saying, Sorry, because her plan's off. <laughs> 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 she had to go to like Boost Mobile. Yeah. Now. How yeah. about get up and get dressed and leave when he leaves? Exactly. Yeah. That's the whole point of an affair. You get into it, you have a great time, you work up a good sweat, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not for working out. But if I'm work out, that's the fucking shit I'm gonna do. Work up a good sweat, honey. Go in there, wash your wig out, and make sure you're okay. When I say wash your wig out, I mean that to any white girl who got real hair, bitch. It's still a wig because you gotta take care of it like one. It's called maintenance. But anyway, wash your wig up, wash your pussy, and you get out of there. You don't hang around sniffing the sheets and playing with yourself, right. pretending you his wife in she your mind, you. going to get ice. Why the fuck would you go get ice? You work there. Exactly. I needed exactly. a cold drink. Mini <laughs> bar. Oh, oh my Brandy, God. you fucked a lot of stars. Wow. You get in and out. I try to get I get out before they get out. I'm right. like, bye, girl. Bye, Best girl. Best of luck to you. Good night, Wig. There See you, you go. later, Chachi. I'm not hanging around. Scott I'm not Mayo, learning. I took your load exactly. and I'm out. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Your load's on the side of the bed. Clean <laughs> <laughs> <You're> up <laughs> your own load. Now, Julie, yeah. you've often taken a lot of man's loads yeah. in oh. hotel rooms. Yeah, Are you like... often caught by the manager saying, <laughs> Miss Goldman, yes. please I'm have sorry. some decorum. I'm sorry. I, I can't help that they, 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 they they, they flock to me. So ah. I must take all the loads. All the loads. Warren Beatty. <laughs> I don't mean to leave them. Old fashioned hard throb. Wow. Warren Beatty, Cary Grant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danny K. Danny K. He had a huge dick, Richard, though. Danny K. Danny K. Danny K. Oh, had a huge, huge dick. Huge uncut Jewish uncut dick. Amazing. Dick. Oh, oh, Richard amazing. Burton. Oh. And don't forget Load. silent film star. <laughs> Valentino. <laughs> Fatty Arbuckle. Loads for days. Loads for days. It took, I had to throw those clothes out. There's no way to get it out. My, my memoir by Julie Goldman. Loads. Loads for days. For days. Horrible. Erica, you've taken loads for days on the serious tip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, always leave, I always leave first. You gotta get up and get out of there. I agree with you. Yeah. You gotta get up and get out of there, girl. Yeah. And nobody wanna, and, and you're right too. She works there. How did she get caught? Mm. She was probably she went to going go get to get ice some ice. She was See, the thing, too, the thing too is, <laughs> you know, see, they don't want to tell the whole story. Because I'm sure this is what happened. Because the cameras are only in the hallways, not in the room. So if you take your ass out of there, they okay, they ain't not even paying attention, to you, you know, paying attention to you going in there with him. They don't really trip on that. But the thing is, when you go in there, you stay in there, and then you decide, when he leaves, I'm going to go get some ice. Uh, and you gallivant your ass in a sheet down the hallway. Mm-hmm. Now the manager is like, 
oh, this bitch tried it. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you know, you I know who you are. You your Madonna. You can't. Justify my love, lady. Do it, Erica. <laughs> do it, Erica. Get a shot of Erica doing it. Erica, do it good to the camera. Okay, you're walking down the hallway. Uh, justify my love, wall walk. <laughs> I practiced All right, oh, time. you did very good, <laughs> young Erica. Well, um, we do know Orlando Bloom is supposed to be very good in bed. Not only did hotel chick waitress say it, but Katy Perry on her thirsty as fuck mm. worldwide witness web, where they kept her in the house and kept shoving guest stars in there with her. She had to play a game, I guess, with James Corbin. And she had to she had to rate her lovers and Orlando Bloom, honey, was number one. That thick dick. Um, <laughs> Lady Red's laughing because she saw the picture of the dick. She's like, it don't look big to me. That's small. It's tiny. It's oh, tiny. It's, if it doesn't go down, it's tiny. She said, if well, it's not halfway down your leg, it's just not natural. You're right about that. <laughs> and. I know you two, that's what you two are used to. That's true, we're used to, big, we're used to big, huge, flopping dicks, but as far as celebrity dicks goes, <laughs> we haven't seen one that even, it looks like he's been playing with it in those pictures, uh, which is good. But like Justin Bieber's, it was given a thumb action, you know what I mean? I mean. It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> it's so cute, like Miss Honey. All right. In her thirsty ass World Wide Web thing, Katy Perry said Orlando Bloom was the greatest lover she's ever had. And Katy Perry is making more news because in her desperate attempt to get as much attention as she possibly could get for her new kind of weak album, Witness, uh, she has had to really just go out there. She had RuPaul come over. She had a therapy session where she was afraid to hug because people thought people wanted to touch her tits. Mm -hmm. And she um, came clean about her feud with Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. And that's why Katie and Taylor nasty feud explodes. Oh, God, it actually does not really explode. This no. is uh, just sort of a lie. But <laughs> Katie did actually ha confirm that the feud happened. Um, she said that she just basically rehashed the whole thing, said that had the, because apparently Katie's dancers had been gone on tour with her, she was taking a break, they went on tour with Taylor, and she told them, well, in a year, I'll be back and I'll call you. And so when she was back, she called them, they told Taylor they wanted to leave, Taylor was pissed about it, Katie tried to call and be like, hey girl, sorry about the dancers, the thing is you're a stuck up tight ass, tight ass bitch, and I'm kind of a down ass hoe, so they wanted to be with me. And instead, Taylor stonewalled her and wrote that bad blood song about her, and Katie was pissed. So she wrote her own song, Swiss, Swiss, Bitch, which is actually a pretty, bit, pretty good song. I love um, it. You like it? I love it. Uh, I, I liked it, and too. And I hate Bad Blood. I think that's a dumb song. Well, I agree. Yeah. I think Taylor Swift, not really a favorite of mine. Um, and so, yeah, so now it's all out in the open. Taylor has yet to say anything. Erica, you've had a lot of feuds. <laughs> So many feuds, hot summer feuds, cold winter feuds. <laughs> yes, the coldest lukewarm, of winter feuds. Lukewarm spring feuds. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think telling, spilling the tea is the best way to get the upper hand in a feud? Going public? I don't think so. I think keeping it tight is the way to get the upper hand in a feud. Because mm. then you just be like, I don't know her. I think that is the best way to handle a feud. I don't know her. Or like Naomi Campbell her. Like, I'm sorry you felt that way. Uh -huh. That's my, that is my favorite, when to the, when you do what Naomi Campbell did to Tyra. When Tyra was like, you made me feel so terrible. My kid was like, I'm sorry you felt that way. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, that's how you handle that shit. You gotta let it roll off and then you look extra, you look fierce. And they look pathetic and needy. Bothered. Yeah. Bothered and pathetic, Bothered. pathetic and needy. And pathetic and needy. Well, Miss <clears throat> Taylor Swift did have her own revenge because she said, dear fans, I just wanted to celebrate my gazillion million sales or whatever <laughs> excuse she gave. All of my music will be available on all streaming services the same night as Katy Perry's album drop. <laughs> oh. Fuck you, Katy. <laughs> Love Taylor. Yeah, and she was like the banner on Spotify because none of her music was available right. on any of that. So she was the banner on everything. Oh. I think the way to mode someone in a feud is definitely to drop the hotter track, mm -hmm. which Katie did. Yeah. Katie is a pile of garbage. She's full <laughs> fake news. Fuck her. Uh. I like can't stand Katy Perry, period. Um, and she did take her backup dancers and she had an arena tour. The real tea is that Taylor Swift was upset about John Mayer. 
John Mayer couldn't, didn't have time for her. They went on that one date or whatever. He sent her home in the limo alone after oh. banging her. She wasn't exciting enough. She wrote that song, Dear John, and it was to him. Right. And then Katy Perry started famously dating John Mayer, and Taylor Swift was super butthurt. I mean, they were good friends. So then after that, she stole the backup dancers, and then Taylor Swift was just, it was a wrap for her. Wow, the true tea from Brandy. Thank you for this. Mm. You're welcome. Mm. Fake news, Katy Perry. Delicious. Julie, mm -hmm. you feud with pretty much every female comedian, well, right? Well, I can't, <laughs> I can't walk out the door without a feud coming my way. Do you know what I mean? I'm sorry like that. It has to be like that. Now, I just want to point out that Taylor Swift is standing there with Ruby Rose, uh, America's number one lesbian model. Oh, yeah. Slash actor, DJ. Um, are they getting together? Oh, well, that Ruby Rose famously uh, defended Taylor when Swish Swish came out and said, uh, Swish Swish is a sloppy mess. Oh. And she accused Katie of going low. Oh, I mean, they've definitely hooked up then. Oh, wow. Mm. Who knew? I'm just saying. Well, it's all lesbos in that squad. Isn't your girlfriend that you were eye fucking at the at the um, Marmont that night in the squad? I wasn't eye fucking her, but <laughs> who, who, who were you? She First of all, y'all were at the Chateau Marmont. Yeah, we told this on here on Hot Tea before. Cara Delevingne and Julie were strongly eye fucking, and then her girlfriend is Lord, or who's her girlfriend? Oh no, it was um, one word, um, like Religula. No, Madonna. <laughs> like, it's, um, not Lord. Saint, Saint Vincent. Oh yeah, Saint Vincent. All oh, right. Oh. Mm. It was a maze. I was like, please, please go home with Cara Delevingne right now. Like it was incredible. Next time, next time, next time. Um, now I also enjoyed <laughs> about the Katy Perry diss track was that they brought Nicki Minaj into it because you know Nicki was pissed at Taylor uh, from a couple of years back when Taylor thought she would throw her two cents in to one of Nicki's tweets about too many white girls being nominated for VMAs. That's what it was, right, Lady Red? Mm -hmm. Um, as well as other people that hate Taylor Swift, Amy Poehler, Calvin Harris, Kim K and Kardashian, and Kim K and Kardashian West, Kanye West. <laughs> uh, any last words on the feud or how to end them or, or the people that hate Taylor? Well, grown-ups um, conduct themselves a lot differently than children. Um, and I mean that in the kindest way because the same thing happened with Patti LaBelle and Diana Ross. And Patti LaBelle didn't fire back with um, a song about Diana Ross. Patti LaBelle just chugged it up, got her some brand new uh, backup singers, and went on and slayed her tour and let Diana Ross have it. That's how you do it. You recoup, you pull it together, and you make them bitches eat it. <laughs> That's what you well do. Well said. Or you're Aretha Franklin, you hold a grudge. <laughs> and stay forever. out of work forever. You don't <laughs> even acknowledge her Hello? at all. Hello? Who is it? Who, who, you say what? All right. Yeah. Good morning. That's I'd like to send oh, a rejected. fax right now <laughs> to call out Dionne Warwick <laughs> five years ago. Now, that, if you want to know how to do a feud, if anyone wants to know how to do a feud, right. check Aretha and Dion. <laughs> what you do is you wait five years. Oh, my God. Till everybody forgot about it. <laughs> then you call the Associated Press and you read them to an answer machine <laughs> and hope that they report it. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, you I mean, that is the greatest story ever. Apparently, Dionne Warwick announced Aretha Franklin oh as God. being at Whitney's funeral right. when she wasn't. And Aretha felt five years was not long enough right. to let that go. And so she called the Associated Press, left an answering machine message. They did not cover the story, <laughs> but it did leak. Now that's how you do a feud, an old feud. Actually, one of our favorite drag race stars is also trying to get into a feud with Katy Perry. It is Ms. Sharon Needles who accuses Katy Perry of stealing her album art. Ooh. Let's take a look at that graphic and see oh, what wow. we think. Here we go. Okay, there's Katy's album. Uh, okay. There we go. All now right. let's see. There is Sharon Needles' two albums into one. I mean, there's a uh, lot of... Uh, no. There's a little bit of similarities there. No. It's also similar to a lot of other people's albums. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I I'm, hope Sharon's going to sue for big money. You think uh, so, Brandy? Yeah, well, first of all, I think she's a complete, like, you know, co-opter of every, like, gay culture for sure, but everyone. They always say that that tra- crappy song, Roar, she copied off Sarah Bear Barrarielis oh, right. song, yeah. like, Brave or whatever. Mm-hmm. That was, like, a big deal. She's had, a, like, been accused of, like, copying and borrowing a bunch of times. I mean, it's standard with her. I don't know. I mean, it's close enough for me. There's definitely an eyeball there. There's <laughs> definitely an eyeball. There's definitely a pale, pasty type of woman. Yeah, with nails. A man with nails. I mean, with a- <laughs> you might have a case, Sharon. You might have a case. I think you should take this case to Judge Lady Red. Oh. Judge Lady Red. You don't Same want it, honey. You don't want, I want it. it. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm all out of tea. Me oh, too. honey. Well, honey, we've done it. We're out of we tea. gave it to you. We served it up to you. Brandy really had good information this time. And Thank let's you. end with the most important thing that can happen on this show Erica spinning again. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Single Ova available oh, now on iTunes. See the video here on ABC little, TV. Got a sign. Oh, no, she has a fine. Look, get, get her prop. I'm thinking, oh, Lady I'm Red doesn't mind being covered I'm by the prop. That's it. a good sister. I'm thinking about it. What is she thinking that you should buy? This is her my the, that it's my song. It's called Ova, and it's available <laughs> on all these lovely internet stores. It's available on <laughs> all these internet stores I've never heard of. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Julie. You look like you barely made it through thank this show. Thank you, no, I did it. Oh, yeah, look at my face. <laughs> <laughs> Barney Miller herself. Just joking, you're a beautiful, special <laughs> angel. But you could solve mysteries like Mr. Barney Miller. I would love to do that. Me too. My parents went on a cruise <laughs> and played bridge with Barney Miller. You did? <laughs> yeah. Hal Linden? Hal Linden. <laughs> it was very exciting for them. Wow. They played bridge. We played bridge with Hal Linden. I think you should do a reboot of Barney Miller, starring you, Julie. Um, we could all do. We could all be in the. I'll be Abe well, Pagoda. Yeah, we'd be in the. We'd be the cops in the thing. You're in right. One room. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can do that's fine. And who? And I mean. There was a million. Lady yeah, Red yeah. gets to play the black guy. Right. I forget what his name was. <laughs> I don't remember any of them. But names. he was good too. His they name were was, all good. There was oh, no, anyway. Well, remember when you told me Abe Pagoda died when we were by the pool in Vegas, and I was like, "Who the fuck's Abe Pagoda?" And you're like, <laughs> "He's from Alice or something." That's Mel, yeah. Mel, Mel, oh, that's Mel. Someone else. Okay, no, no. Oh. That's, um, <laughs> exactly. The guy from Alice. The Mel. Cook, Mel. But his name is. Mm. Mel's Diner? Yes. Yeah, yeah Mel's Diner. I don't know. I yes. thought it was Abe Pagoda. Abe Pagoda's oh, a different guy. Okay. Wow, but, this yeah. is as fresh <laughs> and new as Madonna's pussy. I'd like to thank Mr. Julie Goldman for being an amazing, hilarious thank you. Yay. Girl. Yay. Yay. The gorgeous Brandy Howard for having the most thank information you. this episode. Yeah. Thank job. you. All the stories oh, wow. gave me life last night. I was like, oh, thank God for hot tea. I'm just living for all these. Uh-huh. Well, all the fans <laughs> really live for Brandy Howard. They're all living, thank getting you. Life from you. And of course, Ms. Lady Red Couture <laughs> always does a voodoo spell and brings them back to life with her nonsensical facts. <laughs> and, uh, right on the nose. And the gorgeous beauty of Erica Tor Avion. Yay! All right, my little gay babies, we'll see you next time on Hey Queen and Hot Tea. Bye, honey. Bye, camera. Tea.